It's been called the eighth wonder of the world. And with tumbling waterfalls, plunging cliffs and snowy mountains towering above Milford Sound, it isn't hard to figure out why. But for Cruise Milford Operations Manager Hamish Edgerton, there's now trouble in paradise. School holiday's been great. Uh, numbers have been you know, really, really pleasing. But of course, uh, that's over. So we're going to be um, well, potentially falling into the precipice now. Hamish Edgerton says most businesses usually try to hold on to staff during the quieter winter months in the expectation of things picking up in summer. And off we go! For a lot of people there is no summer, so um, there's no point in carrying those staff. So most companies are running beer skeleton. Milford Sound Tourism owns and operates infrastructure, including the harbour, wharves and visitor terminal. Its operations leader, Tony Woodham, says Milford is a resilient community with many long-term businesses. But he says it's been a year like no other, including flooding through the terminal, which is still being fixed. February, the flooding event, which was unprecedented, to use that well-known term now. So COVID really coming along was an unbelievable experience. No one could imagine the immediate effect on this place. Tony Woodham says Milford is here to stay and businesses will continue to act as guardians of the Tawanga. They're passionate about sharing it. Um, it will continue. People will find their way here and it's a matter of hanging in there. About 80% of guests with tour company Southern Discoveries are from overseas. Operations manager Wolfgang Heinzel says the school holidays saw an influx of locals and some scrambling to find larger vessels to accommodate everybody. But he says staff numbers have still had to be cut and across the fjord are probably down by about 60% on normal levels. We are here to stay, but it will be, it will be a bit challenging, but I think um, if we can get the Australian bubble going, it will be fine. Paul Norris, the general manager of another tour company, Real Journey, says they'll be operating at weekends only for the rest of winter, but he's continuing to stay positive. We, we think it's, it's going fine and, and Milford will always be Milford and will always be an iconic destination for Kiwis and hopefully the international tourists when they come back again in the future. And for locals put off by the rain, Rashida Torre from Mida Peak Tours has this message. Don't let the rain deter anyone um, from coming into Milford. It's a rainforest, so it rains here quite often. And um, yeah, you'll get to see some spectacular waterfalls. So come rain or shine, you're always going to have a lovely time in Milford Sound. Milford businesses say when it comes to normal service resuming in paradise and the visitors returning, it's not a matter of if, but rather when. In Milford Sound for Morning Report, Cortez Brunton, TNA.